Hi friends, you should know the five warning signs of colon cancer that people ignore. Now this first sign is super obvious, but people still ignore it. And that's red bloody stools, red blood streaked stools, or blood stains on the toilet paper. Really, unless you're on your period, blood needs to be evaluated by a real medical doctor, no matter your age. This is called hematochesia. Sometimes if the tumor is higher up in the colon, the stool can come out black. This is called melana. But you need to look in the toilet to know that there is blood. Yes, that means you gotta look at your poop. Colon cancer is happening at a younger and younger age and even people who look strong and healthy may not be strong and healthy inside. Chadwick Boseman, the actor who played the Black Panther, is an example of a person who died of colon cancer at 43. But that cancer was probably in him for over a decade. Cancers grow because they get a lot of blood. But cancerous tissue is usually more delicate and more easily damaged. Your stool will scrape the lining of your colon every time it travels down your colon. And that friction causes kind of like a road rash on delicate cancerous tissue to make it bleed. Now vomiting is just not normal. That means something is stuck. If you're vomiting, you should see a medical doctor, especially if this is recurring. Colon cancer can grow like a boulder to block your colon intermittently by causing your bowels to twist. Now, if your poop can't go down, it can only go back up. I had a friend who vomited occasionally for several months and it was just becoming more and more frequent. His wife finally convinced him to see a doctor on his 50th birthday and that's when he was diagnosed with stage two colon cancer. Unexplained weight loss is also not a good thing. That's very worrisome. See a doctor and get that checked out. Cancer usually needs a lot of energy to grow and steals the food that you eat that was meant for normal growing cells. That's really how it grows. Cancer also changes your hormones and other signaling molecules, making you lose your appetite. At the same time, if you have a mass growing in your gut, it's probably putting pressure on your stomach, decreasing how much food you eat. And you would think that a lot of people have abdominal pain if they get cancer, but that's not always the case. However, if you do have abdominal pain, please don't ignore that. Most cancers are really painless. When cancer destroys a nerve tissue or causes other tissue to swell or expand, or break open and cause you what a condition called peritonitis. And when you touch your belly, if you have peritonitis, it actually hurts more to let go than it does to push down. This is called a rebound sign and warrants immediate medical attention. If colon cancer isn't addressed in a timely fashion, the gut will leak. Infectious diseases like streptococcus bovis may be a presenting symptom. Sometimes diagnosing streptococcus bovis is your first sign of colon cancer. So if you have a streptococcus bovi infection, you need to be screened for colon cancer. You also need to get a test called an echocardiogram to look at your heart valve. And if you have any central lines or devices, ideally they should all be removed. Having streptococcus bovis in the blood is strongly associated with having colon cancer. Now everything we just talked about is caused by possibly having colon cancer. Wouldn't you rather prevent it than to have it diagnosed? Because dying from colon cancer just shouldn't happen. Not only do we know how to dramatically reduce a person's risk of getting colon cancer, we have super effective ways to detect colon cancer when it's curable. Now who wouldn't want that? Early detection is a must. Everyone 45 years and older needs a colonoscopy by a gastroenterologist or a colorectal surgeon. Those are the main physicians who have lots of experience looking at the colon. My best friend is a gastroenterologist who drives a long camera that goes up your rectum like a plumbing stick. Now I've had it done myself and the procedure is essentially painless because they knock you out and they're done in something like 20 minutes. And that's called early detection and intervenes if you already have cancer. That's very important. But that doesn't prevent colon cancer since the cancer has to be taken out. It's already there. And we do know how to prevent colon cancer, and that is with specific things in your diet. There's actually five simple ways to reduce your risk of colon cancer. In addition to getting your friends and family screen, please let them know these following points. They're called early. E is for eat beans and whole grains. They are fiber rich. Target three cups of each a day. A for avoid. Avoid processed meats such as canned meats, sandwiches, and deli meats. Preserved meats have too many chemicals such as nitrates and salts 
that both increase cancers. R is to reduce your red meat intake. There's something about red meat that simply increases cancer. L is for lose some weight. Having that extra fat, especially if you are obese in class one, two, or three, is a formula for cancer growth. And Y stands for you, you need to stop drinking alcohol. The limit to alcohol is zero. If you want a proven way to kill your normal cells and turn them cancerous, pour some alcohol on it. It's known to cause cancer in your mouth, brain, liver, and now you can add your colon. If you like this life-changing video, Please share it and check out my next video.